Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikki here with a final instalment for Mermaid. This is my beautiful junk journal that I have made for May Mayhem that's being run by Dear Julie Julie. And I have learned a very interesting thing about me and my crafty life. If I don't have an actual project to work on, I tend to not craft very much. But if I have something that has timelines and deadlines, I actually make time to do lots of crafting. So instead of being overwhelmed with all the things that I have to use, give me some guidelines and I make all the things. So this is my gorgeous junk journal that I have made. Thanks to all the prompts and all the things that we had to make to take part in this challenge. And my gosh, I've made flips and flops and flaps and things that I've never even heard of before, but I've done it and I have had so much fun doing it. So how about I give you a quick look as to what I've done. I did make a cute little tassel with a little mermaid scale charm on it. I have a video of the belly band that I'm, well, no, not a, oh, well, it's a snippet roll that I'm using as my journal closure. And there is a video tutorial for how I made this. Pop that aside for now. And then I like making junk journals using binder rings. And the reason is I love to be able to move pages around and add and subtract things as I see fit. So that's why I have done this rather than an old book or stuff like that. Now, it does have a protective cover on it, so that's a piece of acetate, and hopefully that will remove some of the glare now that was sort of there before. Um, this is a two-piece cover. I made the first piece with a few little stamps on it, and I made a little shaker window so that you could see the mermaid that was hiding in behind. So, of course, with this challenge, you could pick any theme you liked. You just had to make all these separate elements. So, it was a little challenging at times, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, these had nothing to do with the challenge. They're just pages that I made. A little bit of watercolouring and some pretty little uh, ephemera there. This was one of the challenge pieces. We had to make two large tags. That's one of them. We had to do a, um, oh, what's this called? A collage sheet. Now, one of the things that was challenging for me was things that we had to include. Now, one of them was sewing pattern. Didn't have any sewing pattern, so I had to rack my brain for a couple of days, and I realized I had some cross stitch books. So in the elements that we made that we had to use sewing pattern, I have included some cross stitch little pieces. See, you can see there's a tiny little bit hiding in behind there. You hardly even notice it, but it's included, but it doesn't sort of look out of place. Another thing we had to do was use um, paper flowers. And I'm thinking, how am I going to do paper flowers in a mermaid journal? But I discovered if I got my little punch out and made little flowers in colours that sort of went with the flow, they sort of, they look really cute, but they don't stand out as something that doesn't belong there. So that's how I got around that. Uh, we had to make a pocket with a cutout and a matching card. That's it there. And I just had a bit of mixed media fun in the background there. We had to include this one, I think, was uh, messy thread. So I've got some gold thread. We had to include, oh, what was that? I know that I had to put that little piece there. Might have been napkin or it might have been, oh, I can't remember. But I know I had to put it there. <laughs> so that's there with a little bit of bling on top. This is the first ever flip flop that I've made. You open this up and there's lots of little papers there to journal on. I had to learn how to do that, but it's amazing. Dear Julie Julie puts up videos every day during the month that shows you how to make these things. So there you go, I learned how to do that. 
put a little bit of bling on it. I think we did have to include washi tape and sewing and flowers. So again, there's my little flowers and I hand sewed some gold thread into those so that I had those elements covered. One thing we also had to do at the very start of this, we had to create 10 little elements which we were then to use in our journal. So they had to include paper flowers, they had to include sewing, and they had to include pattern, uh, sewing pattern. So I've got all those three. This is one of my first elements. I've just glued it down and it's made a great little tuck spot. We had to do receipts. We had to do two of them and we had to include a quote and we had to include a napkin and bling. And I hand coloured white paper serviettes or napkins so that the color tones matched. I've also got a video that I did not long ago showing you how easy that is to do. And that's just backed onto a little piece of, uh, a piece of paper that I splattered watercolor on. We had to make a bank envelope and we had to include two cards to go in it. So there's of course my two cards. We also had to include like, um, some something from junk mail. I was lucky I got these letters out of a catalog that had been around, that I must have somehow had still from Easter and it included uh, fish things. So that was perfect. So I cut out the word ocean. Again, we had to include a flower, not a paper flower, but a flower. So that's that one there. And of course, sewing pattern. This is one of the little elements that I made. Again, a little bit of stitching in there. There's my little sewing pattern and my flowers. So you can hardly even see them there. So that sort of trick worked really well for me. Oh, look, I had to make my first fabric flip up and tuck. So I hand cut a mermaid's tail. And then with this here, this is that, you know, that cream colored floral lacy stuff that everyone has. I threw some watercolour down on it so that it sort of matched my colour theme and um, added some nice little bits of bling. We had to have a quote, so I've got my quote on each one. We had to have a ticket, so I've got a ticket on each one. And this one was for a free drink, so I thought, well, we better add a drink. And this one had party on it, so guess what? There's a nice little cocktail on that one. And as you can see, that's been glued down as a pocket. Then we had to create two pockets that included sewing, napkins and two cards and stamping. So I stamped on some, I used a bronzy coloured ink, stamped on starfish, mermaid, um, we've got sewing and actually no, I just chose to put those on there. They weren't elements. They had to include sewing, book pages and napkins. So these are hand colored white napkins that came out really well. Then I just used my sewing machine to actually sew a book page into a pocket. This is a gorgeous sort of sunset horizon. And we had to make two cards. So I've made two relatively simple cards. So there's plenty of good journaling space on those. Then this is just a page I made because the back of this was empty. So I've just did this one myself. It wasn't part of the challenge. Made myself a little pretty colored notebook. We also had to do index cards. I didn't have any. So I had plain lined cards, made my own little tabs. We had to include stenciling. So of course we've got some scales. We had to include a quote and we had to include a book page. This is a little piece of a colouring book that I added. And then I just put on some of these cute metal sequins because they yeah, look really cute. Um, this is just another page. I was playing with some smooshy paint and had it left over and thought, well, pop that into my journal. And then I just popped on some little, um, I've got a little mermaid tail notebook. So I just stuck those on there as for writing space. Again, this was just a Pat, this was just how I filled the back. This had nothing to do with the um, prompts. I just did that to fill the spot. Then we had to make a flat paper clip, which I have done. And we had to have two cards. We had to include stenciling and a, a doily. I just cut a little one in a sort of suitable colors. And again, a piece of 
piece of junk mail. I happened to have this little, I found that little do it in some junk mail. I went, oh, look, that's perfect. We'll just pop that on there. Again, sometimes it just took a little bit of imagination to come up with things that didn't look silly in a mermaid style journal. And of course, I just popped a little tassel on there because they're cute. We had to do two guest checks and that had to include a quote and napkin and uh, metal. So I have, uh, this is just a piece of a blue serviette that I stuck down with the little quote and I, I cut out a little silver anchor from some metallic cardstock that I've got. So that was the metal covered. Again, this was just a sheet that I put in there. I was playing with some spray inks and I, of course, had to put a cute little mermaid on it. This is another one of my 10 embellishments, which I've just popped down with some washi tape and put down some dot grid paper to write on. This is my second index card. Then we had to do this thing. You start off with an envelope. Luckily, I had this beautiful buff colored one and we had to include our sewing fabric. So there's my piece from my book. We had to include three cards. I just made that with some little uh, paper scraps. I just glued them all down and then some stamping on there to make it sort of look lettery. And then if you flip this over, there's two pockets hiding at the back here. And again, I made two little matching cards to go with that. Another one of my little elements that I made and um, we also had to have a top tuck. So that's gone there, put some little papers in and just added a little clip to hold them in place. Uh, this was another one of my 10 elements. I just tore a piece of uh, six by six paper, cut it into place, made a nice little pocket and then this cute little tag as well. I just added a little mermaid shaker. I got these little pocket things from work. You can actually open and close them. So I thought that looked cute. Just a bit of play with watercolor, another page that I've chosen to add. And on the back is my second guest check. Um, fussy cutting serviette and metal must have been the prompts for this one actually. I've just realized that now because there's my little piece of serviette. I fussy cut out there all around the um, corals and of course there's my metal element there sequins. Now this I just added it myself. This was one of my 10 little um, embellishments but I had this pocket in an old notebook so I just popped some holes in it. There's another one of my little 10 um, embellishments out of that little clip that I had in my stash. I made three tags to go in the pocket. Um, they're held together by a brad but I can pull them apart and use them for journaling. And then on the other side there's another one of my embellishments. Had this cute note paper that sort of colour matched so I popped that in there. Then we had to do a side, a border tuck I think this one was called. Um, I've made just this, we had to make a little notepad to go with it, so I've just used some matching paper, thankfully. All these, uh, this purple tone paper worked really well. And I added some hollow stickers. And for the paper flowers, I just included this border, which I think they're actually sea anemone, but they look like flowers. So I've included that, because I love that piece, and I just like that bit of contrast. And it picked up on the green dots and stripes that were in the paper and just made a little um, clip out of some gorgeous colored wool that just seemed to match so nicely and to fill out the back of this page I've just popped down three sticky notes and holding them in place a little bit more firmly with the uh, little sea, uh, starfish stickers there just had to include this this was a gorgeous um, hollow card I got from Fox and Cactus with little mer babes on it so of course I just had to include it in there. This is a piece from Coco Daisy. Love the um, jellyfish. Thought that obviously had to be in here. 
Another little card that I made. This is my second receipt. Oh, hang on, we're stuck here. There we go. This was my second big tag that we had to do for the challenge. And there is some paper stuck down on the back for journaling. And I haven't stuck them in, I've just used clips so that if I want to move them and or to journal on them, it makes them easier to use. This was me playing with some paint on some greaseproof paper. Just love the colors, so I've popped that in there. More paint smooshing, uh, one of my little tin embellishments and just a cute little pom-pom um, clip that I had. Sewn on some ribbon there. Another embellishment again, made a great little corner tuck spot with some paper in it. Again, playing with smooshy paint, one of my favorite things to do some cute little uh, stamps. This is another page that I've just chosen to fill in this way um, because it was the reverse side of what I used. And I just had this gorgeous journaling card that I thought matched perfectly, added a little seahorse. Then we had to do a um, waterfall. I did mine slightly different to how Dear Julie Julie does hers because I wanted to use these thicker cardstock so the folding thing didn't work. It just ended up at this bulky mess. So I made it up myself. But I did this and larger because I've got some beautiful photos from beaches and things that I have visited and I want to actually put them in here and do some journaling. So I wanted it to be this nice big size and on nice solid cardstock. Uh, we had to include um, messy, uh, messy thread. And this is an earring that I got from my daughter. She only has one. We don't know where the other one is. So it's now being used to hold down that thread and it looks gorgeous. And we had to include stamping. So I've just popped a couple of starfish in there. Again, with that bronzy color, they, they don't stand out. They just sort of blend in really nicely. Oh, more splattery paint paper. We had to do a belly band with a matching thing to put in the belly band. We had to use a playing piece. So I grabbed um, an old playing card, glued on some little bits to sort of give it that little bit of a vintage feel to match these gorgeous papers that I had. We had to include a stamp. So I had that gorgeous stamp sticker that I thought was perfect and washi tape. Well, I've got lots of nautical washi tape, so that wasn't hard. So pop that down there. And then of course I just made this little booklet to go in there. It's got plenty of pages, so that'll be great for journaling. And I did pop a bit of gold thread on there just to sort of make it match a little bit. Uh, this is just another pocket that I've added that was on the reverse, just to fill the reverse side. This is a beautiful, um, envelope from the Planner Society that I've had in my stash for ages and this was a test mermaid on the paper that I used to make those two pockets earlier which I almost threw out but I didn't so I stuck that on there because I thought that was very cute then we had to do a flip up flip down which of course I have done had to include fussy cutting so we have cut all around that we had to include now I've used paper to do this. I can't remember what the actual prop was, but whatever it was, that's what I put on there. And a stamp, so again, I've made my own little stamp. Then we had to make something to go in it. So I've used this beautiful, colorful paper to make another little booklet with pages in it. We also had to make um, ties for signatures, but I don't actually have signatures other than this little cutie. So there's the ties I made. We again had to include a stamp and we had to include washi tape. So I made these little discs and stuck them around, uh, stuck the pieces around them to hold them firm. And of course I did, I glued on some beads at the bottom and I'm amazed actually how well they've stayed there. So that worked really well because that was sort of a bit of a gamble but it worked very nicely. Then, what have we got? Oh, I've got a, I don't know what to put on there yet, so we're leaving that. I'm sure I'll find something to stick on there. Then we also had to do a pocket. We had to use book paper. We had to use a quote 
and we had to use lace. Now I have the two cards that we had to make. I have of course used a quote. I've added a little bit of lace up there as the pull. And the paper page, this is again another book page. Loved that view. So I've turned that into a pocket. And then just also, this is just a little um, cut apart from a sheet that I had. A little bit of fabric that I thought suited colour-wise. So there we go. So that's that. So that's my last element. I think that's it. And then I often make a back page, depending on the theme. This is glittery bits in a piece of laminate. But I make these to help protect the papers, you know, because otherwise they get very damaged. So that's Mermaid, all done and dusted. Oh, now I can actually use this journal, but I'm thinking I might hang on to this and use it in summer, seeing it sort of goes with the theme. So we might, I think we'll be making something else to use during winter, because down here in Australia, it is officially winter on Monday. Not looking forward to it, but hopefully we'll get some good crafting done. So look, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want some inspiration to do some, to make a journal, go and follow dear Julie Julie. Every month she does another challenge. And honestly, it's a great way to make yourself do something. We had until the end of May to have this finished. I've already had it done for a few days now. And honestly, I loved every minute of it. So until next time, take care, stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you did. Plenty more crafty and planner related things coming as the year rolls on. Until next time. Bye everyone.